Rock out. All right. I'm Trina from InfoActive, and what we do is we make data beautiful and interactive. And I'll start by telling you a little story. So a couple of years ago, I was working for Link TV, and I was producing a big report. And I had a lot of data to go into this report, and that data looked a lot like this. Mm -hmm. And we had a few different options for ways to put the data into the report. So we tried a couple things. We tried bullet points, mm -hmm. and we tried Excel-style mm -hmm. pie charts, but okay. all of those options were pretty ugly and they were pretty boring. And so I had heard that you could create charts in Adobe Illustrator and I love Adobe so I took the data and I downloaded it and then I uploaded it and reformatted it in Excel and then I just imported that data back into Illustrator. Illustrator didn't have quite everything that I needed so I exported it and then imported it back into Photoshop and then once I was done it actually had to be in InDesign so I exported it again and I put it into InDesign and then when I was finished I exported that and I uploaded it to the web and then of course there were a couple of minor little details, a couple of numbers we had to change. Uh, but I had the whole process down so I just repeated the entire painful cycle. Okay. And in the end what I ended up with was something that was just a slightly better looking static chart. Mm -hmm. so. so, what I realized <laughs> is that data tools such as Excel are not built for design. Okay. And design tools such as Photoshop are not built to handle data. Now, I wasn't the only one who saw this. In fact, Visually created the largest marketplace for infographic designers. Developers created robust JavaScript tools such as D3, and actually four other startups appeared in the last couple of years, all dedicated to do-it-yourself infographic design. They are all trying to bridge the gap between data and design, but there was something missing from it. And the thing that was missing is that they're failing to bridge the gap between source and output. They're not taking real-time data streams and connecting them to the devices where people are actually using them. We're living in a day and age where data flows are coming through, our, through the internet and through our different systems in a seamless manner, and people are seamlessly viewing these visualizations on a whole range of different devices. So we wanted to make a piece of software that makes it easy to capture these data flows and then visualize them and optimize them for all the different devices. And who's we? Well, Aha. funny you ask. <laughs> this is my co-founder, Adam. Okay. He's, he's been a d database developer working with large data sets for the past seven years, and he's also a serial entrepreneur, and his last project sold in January. So I met him in April, and we've been working full-time on this project ever since. And here's what we've built in the last couple of months. So this is at four times speed because I know that time is short here, but basically it's a platform where you can take your data, you can format it, get it to look the way that you want it. Here, what I'm about to do is upload a data set of obesity rates in the United States. Now the platform knows that this is a map and it automatically created the map and set the appropriate values and colors for each of the states. Now what I'm about to do is take some real-time data. I have a Poll Daddy poll set up. And I'm going to go in here and connect my Poll Daddy poll, And then it's going to pull in real-time data into this chart. So as soon as people update the data, the graphic changes. This is something that you don't get with a static infographic. OK. So the problem it's solving for people uh, that need to make a, a chart or a map or something like that based upon structured data that they already have from somewhere? Yes. Okay. The majority of people do have their own data that they're trying to visualize, but we're trying to make it so the data is not stuck in a static image, and so that once the data is in the graphic, it's interactive and looks great across different devices. Now, is this web-based software or desktop software? This is web-based. Okay, and uh, what's the business model behind it? The business model behind it is uh, it's going to be a freemium model, actually, okay. where we're going to get free access to consumer level people, but okay. the real target customers are media organizations and content marketers, people who have to produce a lot of graphics and share a lot of information on the web. And how does it stack up against free and open source tools that someone might be have already? Well, this makes it easy for people who are not developers and not designers to create interactive graphics. And before, before this came along, the, the standard was to hire a design team and hire a developer developer to create these graphics for And if for people who want to go check it out, what's the URL? Infoactive.co. Infoactive.co. Cool. That's Thanks it. for presenting it. Thank you.